cricket, life and everything in between. 25 questions with Sophie Devine. Favourite thing to do when you are not playing cricket? Probably playing golf or going to some sort of yoga class. Would you find difficult to give up when you are on a fitness regime? Um, does it have to be one? Uh, chocolate, lollies, ice cream, <laughs> anything good. <laughs> Who are three of your most favourite New Zealand public figures of all time? Of all time? Um, geez, there's been some pretty special female athletes that uh, have certainly inspired a lot of Kiwis. Sarah Ulmer, Val Adams, Evis Rindell twins, the rowers were, were pretty cool too. What is the longest six you've hit till date? Wouldn't have a clue. Somewhere over the boundary. It's all, only six anyway, isn't it? If you could be one athlete from another sport, who would you be? Roger Federer. A cricket match from the past you would love to be part of? <laughs> Doesn't have to go too far back. Um, the 2017 Men's 50 Over World Cup. I'd like to change the result a little bit there, please. When someone says divine intervention, how does it make you feel? Cringe. What would you like to replace divine intervention with for commentators to say every time you score a century? Cricketer scores 100, wins for the country. Things people do not know about sledging in women's cricket? Uh, doesn't happen often, and usually if it is, it's usually reasonably witty and funny. An all-rounder across men's or women's cricket you love to watch? Oh, geez, there's quite a few. I used to love watching Jacques Callis play. He was um, pretty classical. One record you would love to have? Uh, winning a World Cup would be nice, although I'm not sure if that's a record or not. The quickest bowler you have faced to date? Uh, probably a toss-up between Leah Tahuhu and Shivnam Ismail. Describe your sense of humour. Jeez, <laughs> um, childish probably. If you could be summed up as a hashtag, what would it be? Fun. If a movie was made on you, whom would you love to play your character? Uh, oh, Jennifer Lawrence would be a good shout. Your favourite T20i performance? T20 performance? I don't even know. It was oh, look, pretty special recently, bringing out Made in One Day, uh, Made in T20 100 at the Basin Reserve. A shot you think you can play better than most other batters? Well, it's definitely not a defensive shot, that's for sure. Um, oh, look, probably straight down the ground I'd back myself in. One prank you are proud of having pulled off? Uh, the glad wrap over the toilet bowl always seems to go down really well. What app do you use most on your phone? Uh, a meditation app called Insight Timer. Who are the top three most explosive batters in women's cricket right now? Uh, Deandra Dotton, Chloe Tryon and Alyssa Healy. How do you spend time at an airport waiting for a flight? Uh, usually try and sleep, put my hood on, sleep um, or read a book, watch some sort of Netflix. If you run Susie Bates out one shot of a T20i 100, what would you tell her? <laughs> run harder. <laughs> one band or singer you'd like to watch live? Or oh, toss up between a Bob Marley or Ben Harper, Jack Johnson combo. The most promising team all-rounder going around on the international circuit? Uh, look, I'm pretty biased here. Yeah, Amelia Kerr is pretty special. What's the most boring thing about addressing press conferences? Um, <laughs> probably going to get slammed for this, but the same question being asked over and over again. <laughs>